Hi guys, how you doing? Joe here, hope you're well. Um, I've got a few things I want to show you. Um, there's more things I'm going to show you in a later video. Uh, I'm hoping to do some bivy camping in my back garden. I got a mattress, a blue, uh, self inflating mattress. It's a huge thing and uh, it actually is great. But it's, it's a lot to pack and I think it would be, um, there may be a, a problem whenever I'm carrying it. I may have to carry it at the top of the outside of the, the my bag, but that's not a problem. How are you doing? Hope you're well. This is like a this is a, a camping-esque type thing, a sort of little little thing that I use. Um it's not completely finished and it's not something that I would recommend. It's just something that, that works that hopefully will work for me, because as you know I haven't been away camping yet. By the way, remember to uh, subscribe. I learned this wee thing and I wanted to use it. So let's get going. So we've all seen these little boxes, they come out around Christmas, they're little dove for men uh, and they come with like um, shower gel and and, and uh, body spray and that sort of thing. But I got this one, it's sort of like a greeny colour and I want to show you what I have in it. You may think, what is this Joe? Well that's just a little gel pack just to keep everything uh, dry. We'll start off with this thing. That there, I'm not opening it, but that is actually, I say I wanted a shave, and I'm not going to carry shaving foam. I don't actually use shaving foam in my day-to-day -day shaving anyway. So this is a shave stick. Um, You've probably seen your father using one, maybe you used one in your youth. But it's from Wilkinson Sword. Um, it's a greeny colour. You see the soap just in the bottom there. Not this bit, but the actual um under the tin foil. So that's a shave stick. Uh, this you may think, Joe, why are you using all this? If you want to shave, just bring one of those um uh, multi blade razors where you deposit disposable razors. But no, that's the way I shave at home. So this is maybe if I wanted to shave, I could shave like this. This is a little wobble, but a little. This is a little shaving brush. Um. I have a shaving channel and I use this sort of stuff. So uh, this is GOF Trumper. Uh, this little case comes in, so I kept that in the case. I don't want to lose either one of them. Um, I could have went for you know your conventional razor, the old type. Also, I use the old style razors, where the you, you uh, twist the bottom and the blade comes up, or the the door the doors open, you set the blade in. One of these blades. Wilkes and Sword single edge blades. They'll come in handy for other things as well. But this is my razor for camping. This is quite similar to a butterfly. You screw that like that. And the head comes off like that. Set your blade on the head. Really hard to do one handed. Mm, it's not going to work. And um, just screw that around, and and you, the blade, you, you'll see the blade in here, and that's how you start shaving. As I say, I could have got a metal one, but I don't want it to get rusted, and this one's sort of cheapy, uh, well, disposable kind. Um, up next is the uh. Toothbrush, a little travel brush. I had thought of taking an ordinary toothbrush and cutting the end of it, making it smaller. But this is great because it's a little capsule, little. Uh, this one's great because it has a wee cover for it. What next in there? As I say, the blades are in there. I'll not, I'll not take one out, but I will take. Just they, they come out that way, and they, if you have multiple things, you could cut. Um, a you cut yourself foot for start, but you. They're strong enough. They cut. They can cut your hair. They can also even um, if you've no scissors or you're, if you lost your knife, you could use it for cutting. Um, you need that like a, like plastic. You can cut cut that. And finally, so far, 
this little groom bag. What's in there, you might ask. Again, if I had the two hands, I could be able to get this out, no bother. And here is my, is a half a bar of soap. This is in fact, dental soap, the other half's in there. And I thought because it's antibacterial, and even at now at the minute with COVID, this would be great. And what are you doing? What are you going to be doing out in the out in the bush anyway? You're not going to be washing your whole body, are you? This is sort of to wash your hands, wash your face face in the morning, that sort of thing. And that's all that's in my little box. I just cut that soap with my knife. I'm going to clean that knife, but anyway. So that's it. That's my little um wash bat box. GoPro stop capturing. So I hope that was a um hope that was interesting. Um, I might have been totally nonsense, but um, that's sort of what I would, what, the kind of stuff that I'm hoping things might change. Again, you probably, I don't know if anybody shaves when they're on uh, web camp. If you're on, for, if you're out for a couple of days and you want to shave, maybe you could. I have the option there off a shave. Again, to travel lighter, you know, I could just bring one of those. Um, disposable razors and I'll about the soap across my face and I do that but I like to have luxury on whenever I'm camping I like I would like to have that so um these are what you've seen it oh you've all seen these so that's a normal sized shaving brush but anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed that I have I'm gonna be making a video at the weekends bevying with this monster. This is a clean flex um, sleeping mat. It's a self including camping mat because you're, and it says on it, because your outdoor sleep matters. And it's double XL. I don't, didn't order it because it was double XL. I saw it and I thought, looks all right. And I bought it. It was like 31 pounds. And I don't know why that's come and not my hammock stand. Anyway. So I will be doing some bevy camping hopefully in the, in the back garden on Friday night. So until then, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and yeah. And I shall see you all later. Bye.